Welcome back to our channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so in this video we're going to see the problem compare two fractions right the problem is actually very simple the problem says given two fractions suppose first fraction is a by b and the second fraction is c by d right where a b c d are integers right now there can be three cases right suppose a by b equals to equals to c by d that is both the fractions are the same fractions in that case return equal the string should represent equal this is my return type this is my return if a by b is greater than c by d in that case return the two string function suppose uh, return something like this a by b as a string format suppose and suppose a by b is less than c by d in that case return c by d right that is a problem you have been given two fractions and you have to return them the complexity arises not the complexity just a trick that these two fractions are given as a single string as a single string how so suppose my fractions are suppose a by b is actually 10 by 5 and c by d is actually 20 by 5 right suppose this is my fractions so how are how are these represented in the input string so input is looking something like this string starts a that is 10 by 5 comma you can see 10 by 5 comma it is a single that is there is no space in between right then a space is here let me mark it like this this is a dotted line representing the space then c by d that is 20 by 5 and the string ends now you can see only one space is lying here so we have to take care while converting into string right how will i do it how will i do it very simple very simple what will i do i will just have to convert these numbers into the integer format perform the fraction and based on the results it can lie among this this or this and i will accordingly result return the result right what will i do i will just start from here let me keep my i at index 0 i at index 0 so my i is currently pointing towards 1 i will initialize four numbers for four of them as 0 that is a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 d equals to 0 now i know the format of the string the first number is representing a b c d what will i do from i equal to 0 i will start up till i encountered this oblique so while s of i is not equals to this character what will you do you will just do a equals to a multiplied by 10 plus s of i minus 0 right and i plus plus this loop will land your i on the oblique and you will have your a as 10 right after that you will have to surpass this oblique so just write i plus plus i will come here for 5 you will write the same condition the same line but it will be it will be for character should not be equals to character should not be equals to and for that you will do b that will be given giving me b right and you will do i plus equals to 2 right like you are doing i plus plus here in the circle format you have to do i plus equals to 2 why because you will have to surpass this comma and this space then you will land here at 2 then you can get the c as uh, with the same see the same while loop and at last you can get the d so i'm not writing it because i've written the code only i will show you the code it is very simple right it is very simple you will get four numbers a b c d a b c d right you can get them in double format also that will be very easy for you right double format you got it now what will you do you will perform the fractions so just check which condition it lies in it can be equal greater than or less than based on then you can return the result so for the result you will have to do something like this you can create fraction 1 which is equals to a by b equals to 2 string now if you are taking them as double first convert them into int why because if i take double of 5.000 and i convert it into 2 string it will be looking something like 5.000 right so i need to avoid these zeros i want to get only integers so what you can do you can say int of int of a and i will convert this into 2 string right that will give me only 5 that will give me only 5 what else you can do you can just not take it not take it in double you can take it in int right suppose you have int a int b int c int d now the fractions a by b equals to equal to c by d can actually be reduced to a into d equals to equals to b into c right that is the only thing right i don't think that this needs much explanation let's move on to the code see the code and end the video right so I've already written on the code for you. You can see it is starting from int i equal to 0 going up till length n, right? I started a equals to 0, b equals to 0, c equal to 0 and I got them into double type. So while maintaining the fractions, I will have to convert them into int to convert them into proper strings. 
then up till my si is not equals to oblique i plus plus and your a is incrementing then it is same for b up till a comma then it is same for c for up till a oblique and then up till the last of the string is achieved i will get my d at last what did i do i just made the answers it is a by b or c by d then i and compared them if they are equal return equal otherwise it on the greater fraction that is all let us try to submit it it will run fine let's hope it is running fine and you can see a 189 day streak thank you for watching and we'll meet again tomorrow till then keep watching and stay tuned thank you have a nice day